been a while. Um, shit went down. Uh, what day is it today? It is the fifth Sunday, the fifteenth of July. It must be going on nearly a year since I last uploaded my uh, one of my vlogs before on the channel. Um, a lot has happened since then. Um, I'm trying to think, like, um, I just sort of like fell off the wagon, and then from then I was like, oh, right, I'll set my New Year's resolution to start next year, and then literally like the New Year started, and I was like really pumped. I was like, right, I'm gonna do this. And then on the 4th of January, we had to have um, my dog Pauline put down. So that just broke me completely. Absolutely destroyed me. Um, and it still <laughs> upsets me a little bit now. Um, but uh, over time, it's sort of just become... Um, she's up. Oh. Aww. Um, yeah. Um, that happened. And then it took me a while to sort of get back on my feet after that. And... And then I've ended up applying to go to uni in September, so that's been crazy, getting all that sort of stuff sorted for that. Um, so in about five weeks time, I'll be quitting my full-time job and have a lot more time on my hands. And for the past month or two, I have been getting back into the fitness side of things, eating healthy. I'm just eating my breakfast now and I'm having this. Oops, so this is scrambled egg with spinach and tomato on toast. And this is super nice, super quick and easy. Um, just a slice of wholemeal toast. Um, yeah, um, oh, I'm full of cold, so probably not the best time to start doing all this stuff again. But um, I'm, I'm, this is the second time I've actually been ill. I think it was the, the fact that I got ill um, last time that sort of threw me off um my journey before because obviously you get so demotivated you feel crap and it's it's horrible um so i'm determined this time i think like the more healthier i get the more the, the better i eat really and stuff um that uh, the more likely i am just to less get less ill anyway um so let me just eat my breakfast and then i'll catch up with you guys a bit more in a bit yeah i've got orange juice because i'm sick Mm. so um in terms of like the weight loss side of things um i am now like the heaviest i've ever been i think in my entire life and um before i started like um i knew i wanted to get back into like get, getting healthy and stuff because <coughs> what i used to do before as you may well have remember but i used to love going walking especially with my dog um and uh we should always be walking down like a lake or you know finding somewhere nice to walk especially with the nice weather and everything um and now i struggle to walk because it really hurts my back and i don't know like i've not got any professional advice or anything like that but i think part of it is something that um, me and my trainer have discussed uh who i'm seeing again now um at the gym uh, that's helping me get back on track because we're working on the program and everything but that's by the back um, I'll discuss that in a second but um, we discovered that I, I walk funny not I don't walk funny but like I've um, my feet aren't like I walk like sort of like this on my feet instead of like this basically um, but um, also I don't think my weight helps with that so I was like when I when I started to realized that it was actually becoming quite painful like you know i used to go running and stuff and i decided to go for a run a few weeks ago and i was in absolute agony i broke down in the middle of town almost in tears and i just couldn't i could barely walk home and i was like this isn't good um and obviously that's the most frustrating part is the fact that i'm trying to exercise to lose the weight but because my back now gets in so much pain sometimes depending on what i'm doing um it's it's hard it's hard um, and that's the situation I'm at right now. But um, obviously with like um, at the gym, obviously it's running is just too heavy impacted for me at the minute. Like it's too much on my on my lower joints. Um, the tricky thing is the fact that exercising is what triggers the pain the most. So like even just like I went for a walk with my parents the other weekend because it was so, so nice. Um, and we walked about 5k I think. Um, and I was in agony. Oh wasn't in agony as much as when I went for that run but 
I had to stop a couple of times, which probably didn't help with the heat and I wasn't really wearing the right supportive shoes and stuff. So um, I don't think it is all down to my weight, but it that certainly doesn't help. So I'm like, you know, I've got to get my rear in gear and get my booty moving and, and do something about this. And obviously doing the weights and stuff is helping strengthen my back. Like I've been focusing a bit more on doing like lower back exercises um, incorporating them into my routine. But um what because what we used to do before um we, we've changed things up a bit now the way that we do things um is we i used to do the whole like right well we stayed leg day then upper body and mix it in with a bit of cardio and stuff what i do now is alternate between a hit workout which i'm actually going to do in a little bit but outside in the garden so I, i'm not going to go to the gym today i'm going to try and do it i thought it's nothing that I can't do at home um, and it's just I've got stuff to do around the house today and I've got meal prep to do and I was just like actually going to the gym is just I could do it out in the garden quite easily I've got like a few weights and stuff that I can do but I'll record that later on um, and so we'll alternate between hit and weight training but when I do the weight training instead of doing lots of different exercises with lower weights um, focusing on one area of my body we now do high weights, but work out my whole body. So we'll do a mixture of everything, which makes it quite awkward for the next day because I can't move my entire body um, by the time that I've finished because some of the weights that I've been lifting are just crazy. Um, and it's quite actually impressive for me to think I can actually still lift that. So my strength has still been there. Oh, cardio has always been my weakness with my fitness and everything. So um, the hit is brutal. Um, so you'll see that later. I will be dying. Uh, and I'll talk you through that later, but I need to, I'm going to, while it's nice outside, uh, I'm going to clean the car, I've got some meal prep to do, and I'll take you guys along with me where I can. So uh, I just want to give you a brief catch up, obviously I'm excited to get back into vlogging and everything because last time it gave me some sort of sense of accountability um, and really helped keep me on track because I was like, right, I was excited to show you guys what I was doing and that kept me really motivated, so um Yes, I'm super pumped to be getting back into this and I uh, hope you all guys are excited to come along with me. So this time we're going to we're gonna smash it this time. I can feel it. This time is different, especially with the fact that I'm not going to be working full time now. So I'm going to have a lot more time to go to the gym and, and I'm just going to try and incorporate that into a really, you know, make that change into a more healthier lifestyle. Because um, time has always been my issue a lot of the time. Um not finding the time to work out or if I've been at work all day I'm sometimes too tired. Yeah, so enough waffling on, let's get on with the rest of the day. Happy Sunday. So I've just finished uh, prepping the veggies for the chicken soup. So that is there. We've got um, carrots, a few spring onions and a few potatoes. I've got the chicken, which kept because it's really hot, the flies. Um, just to keep this hot. Um, chicken it's so nice and moist like all i did was so to like boil it and then it makes it like shred easy to like pull apart and it's like shredded chicken um so now i'm just gonna actually work on making it into a soup so wish me luck so this is it um it looks quite yummy actually quite pleasantly surprised um there's all the carrot the chicken i don't think i really should have used spring onions i think i just should have just used normal onions but it all tastes the same really, doesn't it, I suppose. But yeah, it looks quite nice. I'm quite looking forward to trying it. Hopefully it uh, is the cure for my cold that I need. I'm trying to suck it up before it gets any worse.
the 17th and it is oh, about half past 12 I think and I've only just got up I've been um, off work today and I've just been sat hunting for deals on the prime day thing um, not really seen anything particularly worthwhile um, that I can't really wait for so not nothing really massively heavily discounted or if it is it's still mega expensive so not something I can really spend money on at the minute because I'm broke um, just about so um, I've feel incredibly shitty today because last night I finished work at nine and was incredibly hungry and really stupidly decided to go and get a pizza on the way home and for some unknown bizarre reason the pizza our local takeaway place does buy one get one free on the pizzas anyway so I just got two small nine inch pizzas thinking oh I'll sort of like have one now and then have one tomorrow or leftover pizza or something and I'm really not looking forward to eating it I might just throw it away it was bound to get one free anyway so I've not really lost anything but they actually ended up giving me another pizza for free anyway which was just this kind of gross cardboardy tasting garlic bread so I didn't even end up eating that but anyway the pizza this morning has made me feel sick and bloated and I feel absolutely gross so i've not eaten anything yet uh, i've just as you'll have just seen i've just had my protein shake my pre-workout um to actually make sure i'm not going to the gym on an empty stomach i'm going to go and do my weight circuit which gracie put together for me um this is it uh, with her funny diagram pictures on to tell me what i need to do um and I'll uh, I'll talk you through that probably when I've finished or something, I don't know, but um, yeah, um, I'll be doing weights today because obviously I did my hits on Sunday. So I'm going to shut up waffling on now and go and work out and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, so I just got done at the gym, finished my workout, absolutely smashed it. Um, I'll show you the, well I won't show you, I'll talk you through... Um, so sweaty uh, i need to go to the grocery store so we do our leg press uh the, like four lots of 10 on each workout so or sometimes i did up to like 12 uh, like on the leg press i did four lots of 12 um and that i do like 40 kilos so that's quite a bit uh lat pull downs the shoulder press um like the pec deck uh and then some like kickbacks with um dumbbells uh bicep curls and then i also did some deadlifts as well which i did extra and just because i keep getting like i was saying at the beginning like i keep getting that pain in my lower back so i'm trying to build up the strength in that a little bit as well so i do um i did a few like straight legged deadlifts they're brutal my legs are killing my arms kill like i said because the way that I'm doing it now means that, oh, it hurts to get my seatbelt. Uh, means that I'm working out my whole body instead of doing like leg day, upper body day and things like that. So um, I ache all over now, which is good. So now I need to go to the supermarket, get my shopping. And then uh, I think actually now I'm feeling so much less bloated as well. I feel so much better. Uh, my stomach isn't cramped up. I feel great. I feel so pumped, so energetic and ready to take on the day. Even though the day's nearly over because it is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So, um, time to go jump, go to get my groceries and then go and jump in the shower, which will be fun. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Evening, guys. Uh, it is Friday. Woo! And uh, I've just got in from work and I'm just cooked quick stir fry, something nice, quick and easy. Um, I did have every intention of trying to squeeze in going to the gym tonight, but it closes at 10 and it's already 20 to 9. So, um, obviously normally they, you know, to get there, to work out before they close, I'd have to get there pretty soon. Obviously I love eating and 
you know, it's just not really going to happen tonight, which is um, which is a shame because I was kind of pumped about going, and I kind of feel like um, I at the minute I'm I'm still I haven't been for a run since last time, and last time I was in like a hell of a lot of pain, so I'm not really feeling that. So I think tonight I might actually just chill out and uh, watch some TV, you know, have um, have some downtime, um, but um, I'm. I don't know if I'm being too hard on myself lately because I've like this whole time I've been on this journey now for quite a few weeks. I've been, you know, back at the gym and everything. Um, a good three, four weeks now, and I still haven't actually lost any weight when I've got weighed. Got weighed this morning, I'm still the same weight I was when I started. So it is now becoming to the point where I'm a bit frustrated, but I'm trying to not obsess over it like I have done in the past because I've always found that that just is setting you up to fail, isn't it? Um so Hopefully I'll start and see progress soon because that can be quite demotivating. But, um, yeah, I don't intend to give up, but it is quite hard to uh, to not see any progress after a few weeks. Although when I sometimes look at myself, you know, like actually in the mirror and I'm taking pictures and stuff, I can see a little bit of an improvement. But, but yeah, I'm going to chill out tonight and then uh, I'll catch you chill with you guys over the weekend. Good morning. It is uh, 8.40 a.m., on Saturday morning, I'm uh, I got a PT session booked in at ten a.m. So up bright and early this morning, I was n absolutely shattered last night. So I was in bed for like eleven o'clock. Um, woke up about half six, seven ish this morning. Um, just got up, just having some breakfast, some poached eggies, nice runny eggs. Um, and then I'm gonna take some pre workout after in a bit. Uh, and then we're all ready to go to the gym. So, uh, yeah, I think we're probably going to do weights again today. That's normally what I do with Grace and then do the hit cardio on my own because I did hit, not yesterday, my last workout. So, uh, probably be weights again today, but uh, we'll see when we get there and I'll let you guys know. Oh my days, absolutely smashed it. So um, I've just got out of the gym. I was actually there for like an hour and a half. Well, I was there for longer, but uh, that's how long we ended up working out for. And we just oh, absolutely smashed it today. I'm so proud of myself. And um, we've got loads of um, pictures and stuff that I'll put in the video in a second after this. And oh my God. Absolutely knackered, but I'm absolutely buzzing and so proud of myself that I absolutely killed it. It literally did oh, just oh, you'll see the pictures and everything, and I'll um, like put little notes underneath it or whatever with what I was doing, but because I can't, my mind's just like blown with like how excited and how like how pumped I am that um, that I did that, and I kind of. I wouldn't say I did it easily, do you know what I mean? Like, it was hard, but I didn't give up and I pushed through it and I'm just so proud of myself. So I'm gonna go home, have a protein shake, have a shower, cause you can see 
my sweat is just oh i'll take some pictures later as well and they'll all obviously go on instagram so you'll see them well you'll have seen them by the time before the video goes up because i'll put that up to, we'll put this video will go up tomorrow because today's saturday and yes uh I'll catch up with you guys when I'm feeling a lot less gross and it's really hot outside as well so can't wait to get out of these sweaty awful clothes so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay so I'm back from the gym, I've chilled out for a bit, I had my protein shake, um, I'm just in the middle of cooking dinner now. Now one thing that me and Grace discussed while we were at the gym was um, how in all honesty I've been seeing her for that was our fourth week now but i kind of feel like we'd had a couple more but no no that was our this is our that was our fourth session um hopefully you like the clips that we put in there she's so good like um recording videos and taking pictures and stuff because she knows that obviously this is what i'm doing and um but yeah anyway um she said uh, like i've not lost a single pound like um since i think actually i think that might be a slight lie i think i'm like i've lost about a couple of pounds but then i've gained that and then come back down again and I, my weight just seems to be fluctuating but i've not actually lost any weight so we've decided to go slightly extreme and cut out most carbs i've got to cut out bread completely which after the video this morning i had egg on toast which has got to stop uh, I'll have oats uh, for breakfast most mornings. Um, obviously, that'll mainly be that helps when I'm at work in the morning. But that's still quite a lot of carbs. But I need because I have my difficulties as well is having something like that high in carbs for breakfast. I'm not active at work like at all. I, I sit at a computer all day for work, so that makes things very difficult then to burn it off. Um, I'm not active in the slightest. Um, so I'd only really do that, have oats in the morning potentially when um, I am going to go to the gym. Uh, that will happen on the days where I'm going to go to the gym um, and there'll be no bread and I can have like bits of rice, small portions. So for dinner, after my workout, I'm having chicken and veg so I've got in the pan I've got sweet potatoes and carrots and then in here that's going to go on in a minute I've got broccoli and cabbage um I'm going to force myself to like broccoli because I'm not a massive lover of it but we've obviously got to focus more on green vegetables um I'm worried mainly I'm not a massive fan of not having very flavorful food so if anybody's got any hints and tips on how I can actually make it taste nice I'm gonna season the chicken with this garlic and herb seasoning so that should help a little bit um, and grill that in just a second so I'll do that now actually but uh, we'll see I'm gonna probably do this for like a month maybe um, just go carb free pretty much as much well as much as possible um just scoring the chicken first before i put the seasoning in it um yeah um and see then how that impacts weight loss and we'll keep you guys up to date with that that smells beaut so it's all cooked this is what it looks like so we're gonna try this um i like everything that's on there the broccoli is a bit yeah but um normally if i have like chicken and veg it's coated in gravy so we're gonna skip that out today and just um try it i've got obviously sweet potato on there which has obviously got a lot of flavor in it so um hopefully it should be all right uh, morning guys it is about um, 8.30 on Sunday morning and I hurt bad. <laughs> um, I can feel it in my legs. I've not even moved yet. Well, I have. Every time I slightly move, it hurts so bad. Um, I've not actually got out of bed yet because I'm scared how much it's going to hurt. And um, I can feel it in my thighs, I can feel it in my abs, my arms hurt a little bit. 
but the I could deal with that. But yeah, this is gonna be painful. You ready? Oh, and my like my back and this is gonna be brutal today. Let's look at the sweat down here. Ugh. Ooh. Oh my god, a bit of cardio. Oh, god, it is hot. You can't see my face. Um, geez, it's so sunny. Oh, hit cardio. Blech. Oh, damn. I feel good though for going. I was so sore when I got this morning and I could I could barely walk. Um, so I'm impressed that I actually even went to the gym. My god, I can't deal with this, right? Um, I haven't got my sunglasses, I'm so unprepared for this weather. But um, yeah, I did my usual circuit minus the burpees because I figured I was way too sore to do them and I hate them anyway, so it was a good excuse. But what I did do instead, I didn't slack off completely, I did five minutes on the Stairmaster, which I hate equally as much to be fair. I just figured it was less impact, like bending down, getting back up and everything would have killed my fucking thighs. Oh, my thighs, my abs, oh just everything hurts today so i was glad that i went so i did my uh four sets of 45 seconds with 20 second mess with kettlebells um step ups and the bike and then i did my five minutes on the stairmaster so i'm feeling quite pumped we had a barbecue this afternoon with the family lamb so uh i did really well i made sure i didn't have any bread i just had one chicken drumstick um this like uh lamb kebab stick thing or whatever it was which wasn't really that nice and then just some salad and that was it so now i'm gonna go home and have my protein sheet which i can't even have with milk anymore even though i used to have it with coconut milk which i didn't think was so bad um even when i, I said like i said to grace i was like what even if i do it like half and half which i do do sometimes and she was like no we just have it all with water and it tastes disgusting absolutely disgusting yeah i'll um I'll wrap it up here guys um, and we'll uh, we'll see how uh, we get on next week with the new changes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week.